Hi, folks. So I created a web part. And basically, I want to show this web part in this demo. Um, but the reason why I build this is because it doesn't exist out of the box. It was a returning customer requirement. I could use it internally and because I can, because I'm a developer and I just like to build stuff. And the requirements for my web part, which is an advanced image library um, web part, was to connect to any SharePoint document or picture library. It has to use folders to group pictures of an event. It had to have support for subfolders. I wanted a breadcrumb to navigate, and I wanted the image browsing to happen in Lightbox style. When I built this, a pleasant surprise was that it also works in the SharePoint mobile app through Viva Desktop in Teams, and that people actually loved how it looked and feel because I'm a developer and I don't really do styling. And the ease of use for this image library was a pleasant surprise as well. Um, so it was a great success to get this web part ready. So first of all, let me demo it before we dive into some code. Oh, my editing session has ended. So let me refresh this page, make it bigger, go to edit. And here I can add my web part. So it's the Lightbox Image Gallery web art, and it uses a lot of PMP available controls. So it uses SP, DEF, uh, FX, React controls uh, made available in PMP. I love this pre-run experience to show off all of the, uh, to show off that the web art has not been configured yet. So I go to configure my web part. And the only thing that you have to configure is select the document library or picture library in your SharePoint site collection that you want to use to render your data. I will pick fun because I have lots of fun um, photos available. And you can see here that it renders immediately all of the folders that are available in my document library. Another thing that I want to show off by default, it has the uh, web art title available and I use another control uh, from the same React controls library in PMP to just inline edit this to get kind of the same thing as the out of the box web parts. And then I will publish the page like this. So it still renders, that's nice. And then we can dive into all of these folders. Like every folder, like I said, contains images for a specific um, event or something because I use this web art on my intranet to show off all of the corporate events that we do. So if I dive into one, you see that it quickly renders all of the thumbnails of the images inside that folder. And it also lists all subfolders in that folder into uh, on top of the images. So if we go deeper, uh, you see that the breadcrumb updates and we can move up or move down again. And it also lists the number of images inside the folder. So you see here that it renders all the thumbnails. And if you click one of the images, it opens a lightbox style gallery with all of the images, which you can browse through also using the uh, keyboard. You can go full screen, uh, zoom in, download, uh, and everything. So it's from the look and feel or usability point of view, not too complex a web part, but it has a lot of uh, use cases on an intranet or on a SharePoint site. So this is about it from the demo. So let's switch back to the slides. First of all, my code structure, because it's always nice to see how someone else structures um, his or her code. So I work with models where I put my models or my interfaces in a folder. So I've got my iData service here and my iFolder data. I've got my services, the data service and the mock data service who implement iData service on top. So my data service is the class that does everything. It interacts, it fetches all the data from uh, SharePoint. First of all, fetching all of the lists in my site collection. Second, uh, fetching the data of a folder in that list. Mock data service is one that I use when uh, running my web part locally and not running inside uh, a site collection or inside SharePoint uh, online. 
Then within Webart, there's my image, images gallery Webart itself. And I tend to group all my components that I use in my Webart inside the components folder in the Webart. If these components are used across multiple Webparts, I promote them to a components folder right under source. So this is my code structure. And then there are some code snippets that are might be interesting because this web part is pretty simple in terms of code. So with simple code, you can still get a lot of value. So there's not much of code that I can show you. First of all, there's data service. It does the get lists and it uses PMPJS to select all the lists inside your SharePoint site. So I get all my lists. I get title, base template, and root folder. I expand the root folder because I need some properties that are on root folder and I fetch everything. And then I go filter on base template uh, 109, which is picture library, or 101, which is document library. And all of those I return, and that's what's used in the property pane of my web art. And then there is get folder data. So every time a folder is opened, and remember the root of a document library is also a folder and has a folder unique ID. I use the folder's unique ID to fetch data from SharePoint for that specific folder. So we use that folder unique ID to get the folder and get folder info. We use it, the folder itself to get all of the subfolders for that folder. And we use the folder to get all the files from the folder. And then we return that as an I folder data. So basically this tells me the name of the folder, the path of the folder, and the uh, number of images in the folder. It gives me all of these subfolders and their IDs and all of the files in this specific folder. So I can render them on screen. So with get subfolders, which is one of my own, I just use once again PMPJS to get all of the data. And I filter specifically on is Wopi enabled to be false, which filters out all of the out of the box hidden folders from SharePoint and only those where there is more, well, where there is at least one file inside of that folder. And then the last one is get files from folder. So I fetch all of the files. Now this is a specific one because I couldn't figure out the camel query. I'm sure there is one. So after I get all the files, I filter them to be of uh, an image type to render them on the screen. Last one um, that I want to show off is the, once again, the SharePoint property pane things that PMP makes available because you can do load property pane resources, which is an SPFX out of the box available method to fetch all of my lists. So this goes to data service. Now, because this is asyncing and take a little while, I use something from PMP to set a spinner on screen, and then when this is loaded, afterwards I clear the spinner. And then this is the most complex line of code inside this web part. It's to fetch or to get a thumbnail path. Because if you fetch an image from a document library, you only get the full image URL. And to render a thumbnail or a small version, to make it load quicker, I really like to get a preview version of that image. So what I do is I take the full screen URL, I do a, an encode URI component on it, and then I once again replace the uh, percentage 2F with the forward slash again. It's because that's what's needed for this format to work. And then I create a thumbnail path by taking the root URL of my site collection, uh, replace the ending, with nothing, so I can, the ending slash, or trim off the end slash, um, and then I do layouts 15, get preview ASHX, and then pass in the image path. And this gives me a thumbnail path that I can use in my Lightbox uh, gallery item. So this makes my image load very quickly on screen. And that's about it. I've got some resources available in the slides. So I'm using PMPJS, SPFX controls React, and an available React Light Gallery. All of this is on my GitHub, and I have a blog post explaining it again. But in essence, I wanted to show that with little code and using 
a lot of stuff from PMP, you can get a great result in the end.